Just look at it right there. That's what's missing. Shag haircut. Welcome to Modern Technique Salon. You can book an appointment today. Now I'm gonna take her top. Let's just say we wanna make this like mine. Okay, we want it to be PC and textured. PC and textured. We're gonna take the part, and this is also gonna be like the top of the Jacqueline Smith haircut. Take a half an inch on that side, half an inch on that side. I'm gonna take that bang that I just did. I'm gonna literally take it on an angle. Look at my comb. Let your comb direct your guide. And you'd always get a new comb if that was a person, just so you, but it's not. It's mannequin head and it's all good. Always, I'm grabbing that whole section. I'm letting my comb direct my hair. And then you could cut that up. I could razor that up too. I could literally take this razor and get my fingers out of the way and just go all the way up. I'll do the razor because you guys have seen me do it with a scissor a hundred times. I'm gonna come underneath. I'm gonna turn her so you can really see it. Now look at, I grabbed it up this way. The whole hand, you take it. Now look at, I'm grip. That comb is going first. I'm on an angle. I have her bangs and that's her back part. I'm taking this. Here we go, we're etching it right out. Keep etching, keep etching, keep etching, keep etching. Get rid of that. Show you again. See how I have the comb direct me? I'm gonna do it one more time. Just look at it right there. That's what's missing. One more. Now I wanna show you how to texture. For my haircut, I took it this way and I literally came in this way and I touched it. I touched little pieces. I'm just in there shimmying. That's it, I'm just shimmying. Now look, just little tiny slivers of hair that's gonna come out. And I want that to be able to be fuller. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Look at how beautiful that will be. That layer goes down like this. It's gonna go down like this, beautiful. So I'm gonna do this whole half of head just so you can see it. If it looks so good, and then I'll texture. But we'll just do it. And you could basically get the whole side up. Get this out of the way. Put a clip on it. Get this side out of the way. And we're only focused on this. Basically where I'm standing would be huge too. I'll take the next section up like a ladder and I'd be this side of her. So if I'm standing in a chair, I'd be over her and I'd be doing it from this side. I'm pulling this straight up. The longer length you want, the more you over direct. But I want it to be really at the length she's at so I don't have to over direct. I'm gonna come straight up. Now look at, I always take my comb. We're going on that angle up to where I see it right here was where I left off from her bang. And I'm gonna come underneath and I'm just gonna sly layer that, razor it right off. My comb is directing, it's only a little left. Sometimes I have to grab that because my fingers don't fit in there. It's like going right to the end, there we go. You gotta hold it tight. Now I'm gonna take this next section straight up. This is such a great haircut to learn. Let me tell you, it is just such a great foundation and just go straight up. That's her length, so I don't need a ton. It gets less and less and less, but I want you to see what that's gonna look like. All right, let me get her back up. It's gonna be a beautiful layered haircut. It's gonna be gorgeous. And the layers will go down. You're gonna see it. And then if you wanted to check it too, you could. Let me show you. I could take that extra off if I wanted to, because that's kind of more towards the back. Like the front is already done, but if I want a little extra, and this is a perfect example to show you how to texture. All right, now, this is how I texture. I go in there, just shimmy up, make points. Get in there, make points. She has pretty good hair, so I wouldn't need to do it a lot to her hair, but if it was a real thick mannequin head or if it was somebody with really thick hair, I would do a lot more. Just get in there and make points. You go, see where that bend is? Do it after the bend. Then you come in, shimmy it a little bit, shimmy it, shimmy, and here. Literally little tiny skinny pieces. It'll be such beautiful layers. Now I wanna show you how to do it with a scissor, your little point cutting. Now I did that part already, so I don't need to do that again. Now I'm gonna take this. When I point cut, I look at where the bend is. I don't do it at the bend, I do it right after. I take little tiny, 
tiny pieces of that hair so all the other hair will stand up and support that hair. So it's these little tiny pieces that we're doing, but this hair will have support and hold up better. That's why it's so important to make sure you point cut and pay attention to what you're doing, right? It's so good at texturizing hair because hair performs better if it has support. Look at, right? Not where the bend is, do it over that. Little tiny, tiny pieces that are thicker that you see, and that's it. And that will even come out even piecier and gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. A lot of people say to me, my hairdresser doesn't know how to cut hair. She doesn't know how to layer. She doesn't know how to texture. She doesn't know how to point cut. Well, they need to watch this video. You need to send them this video because they should know how to do it if they're a hairdresser for a long time. And if you're new, a new cosmetologist, it's awesome for you because you'll get a great foundation learning it young, which is great. Now, another way that you can texturize, now let's do this side. First, I'm gonna layer two. Now look at the difference of the two. I wanna show you, this is heavy, this side. This is more of a blunt lob, because it has some layers in it. Here we go, we got the layered part there. See how the angle goes down? Then she has pretty angles there. Now let's just say you wanted this layered more too. You could pull it out. If you needed that, you're just gonna pull that out right there, cut it, and you could do it with your thinning shear if you want it piecier. If it's super thick hair, you could do it with the thinning shear and just get that off or you could do it with a scissor if you want and then you could always notch it but otherwise you'll have more layers there just so i love to just show you extra but look at the difference this is way down it's too heavy it can't fly and have this lightness to it can you guys see that great now i'm going to take this side and i'm going to come on this go behind the ear get that hair out of the way so you don't gotta worry about that back, but I will teach you the back too. But I'm gonna teach you the back on the 26th, just saying. So if you wanna sign up for the 26th, you'll get to see that back part. Because I razored it, now I'll do it with a scissor, just to show you guys something different. I'm on this side. This, this side I took up this way, and now I'm on this side going this way. My fingers need to be up like that. If I was standing the other way, my fingers would be wrong. Just know my fingers need to be able to flow. I need to get rid of that part right there. I'm just gonna take my scissors and I like to slide cut as well. I don't like to always be so rigid with my scissors and make sure you're using your thumb. So I like to just shimmy. I just kind of do this and then I could cut little pieces. Now I'm gonna show you how I point cut here. Look at the bend. I go up and I'm gonna notch little tiny, tiny pieces. Get that out of there, notch. And really they're little little tiny pieces. You don't really ever want to see them, see them. But I'm telling you right away that hair holds up. It's so much lighter, that's the goal. You want to make it piecey and just flow freely and not be too heavy. And there's, you have to think of it with your intuition and you got to imagine it. Like put your fingers through it, feel it. Like say, all right, she's a little too much bulkier. You start to use your senses to cut hair incredibly well. Right, you can become an artist. That's what you want to be, an artist of hair. You're a hair doctor and a hair artist. You could do so much with hair. It's so fun and so cool. All right, here we go. Taking it straight up. I'm taking it from her bang. Nice, nice, nice. I just want to, because that's another way you can cut. In my haircut, you could, it, when I cut my flipped up haircut on other people, I do the scissor this way, just like I did here. I cut that whole thing because it flips the hair to go up. Just saying, so you know, but I did mine with a razor because a razor will do it too. There's lots of different ways. That's one, gonna take the second step and always think of this. You have your top, one step, two step, this will be two and this will be three. I could bring that right up. It's really an easy haircut, but so many people don't do it. That's the crazy part. Now look at all the extra, this was the lob. This is the part that came down a straight line here. I'm taking that off. I want it to be soft, 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 soft. Now I'm gonna get in there, notch, 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 notch. Now look where the bend is. Now listen, it doesn't matter so much here. It matters more up top that you can't go past the bend because you don't want any pieces sticking straight up. Here you could actually have it, it'd be no big deal. That hair would weigh that down and you wouldn't see it, but it'd have better separation. Get rid of that. Now. I don't really have a lot to cut on there because that was already done. 
and I don't need to do any on the bottom. But I do want to show you how to do it with a thinning shear. So if you need to notch with a thinning shear instead because maybe you don't have time or it's too, it's, it might take you a little longer time to do it with a razor or with a scissor because you don't want to do it too much. You would take this up, let's take it right here, and literally go where the bend is and go over that. Take one, two, three, four. You just cut little pieces out. You use the tip of your thinning shear, just that little bit, and it's just gonna take some bulk out. That's a very, very easy way. That's the safest way for somebody that doesn't know how to use a thinning shear or scissors. That way, with a razor or a scissor, this is super easy, and anybody could do this. All right, now you're gonna look and see you always want to see is there balance, right? Now I took this one straight out and I used the thinning shear to get that extra bulk off right there. I need to get that off. See that? 90 degree angle straight out and then I'm just going to take it, get that out and it will make it so nice and light and airy. What do you think about that beautiful Jacqueline Smith haircut? You blow dry that? It's going to be gorgeous. Just saying. All right, guys, this is Coach Kimmy. If you want to learn more tips and tricks, I my um, the secrets of a great therapist, I have like such good things in here of the things what not to do and the things to do. So it's excellent. I have mindset in here. I have all kinds of good stuff in here. I encourage you to buy the secrets of a great therapist and become that great therapist that you want to be. Part two, blow drying. I am going to always, <clears throat> this is important. Blow dryers are not always so easy, but it's easy for me because I've been doing them for so long. You take the mohawk and you take just a little piece up. Now listen, the focus on her hair. Normally I flip her upside down and dry it, a rough dry. Let me do that first just so you can see. Get upside down. Now the reason why I do that is because look at where the root's going to go. It's going to go up automatically. Gravity will pull it down. But if you dry and set it up, you have so much more volume, so much more body, and you're already setting yourself up for success. Do it. Yes, she will look like the 80s, and that's okay. And then you set it, and you make it pretty, right? You can make it the Jacqueline Smith haircut. You can make it more butterfly haircut. You can make it a shag, whatever you want. Now, <clears throat> let's just say we want a thicker bang here, right? We can have that thicker. We can make this full back here. You can push this down. It all depends on what you want. But look at her face and think, what would look pretty on her? Then over them, you're going to take this back part right here. And I'm going to be pulling it forward. Now, the focus is going to be on this section right here, her root. You don't want to go down like this. The blow dryer is this way. You're literally coming up this way. You're not going down. You'll burn them. You're here, and then focus on those ends, focus on those ends, focus on those ends, and bend it a little bit. And then you can cool it off at the back if you wanted to. Now, look at that power. Look at that volume. Do you know I put no products in her? But I love product anyway, but if you could do this just with hair if you wanted to, but you gotta really make sure you're using the brush and the blow dryer in the right spot, right? It has to be in the right spot. You gotta focus, flip it upside down, set yourself up for success. Then you pull this, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna roll it. Even if you have to put it on there, let's say it's not rolling enough, put it on there. I pull it forward first. Pulling it forward, rolling it back. Pulling it forward, rolling it back. Get the root, get the end. And basically that cools it off. But look how powerful that is. That is power. And if you wanted it flatter, use a smaller brush. You don't have to have it this full. And basically you always do what people like you like. But most people can't do this. That's the problem. They don't know how to put fullness in it. Listen, people can always flatten it, but they don't know how to get it full. And that's what you gotta focus on. And all this, you can either pull this forward and roll it back just a little bit. You could pull it all down. You can pull it down and coming forward. I'll put this side down coming forward. This side's gonna be a little longer. Remember, I, I went shorter on that side, and this side will just, the layer will be a little bit longer, but maybe I did cut it too much. You see this other layer here? This is the shorter layer right here at the top. And then it comes cascading down. How oh, beautiful. And then this side I'll do straight down just to show you that. All right, so here we go. This, and you could push this forward if you wanted to, but just so you know, this is more straight coming down, but it has nice layers in there. Then you got your PC bangs, and then this one's more feathered back. You always have options. You always wanna try different things. You always tell customers, hey, listen, I'd love to do a journey, a hair journey with you. Give me three chances to get it perfect, right? Because you have to learn their hair. And this is the thing. I textured the front way too much, right? And I was teaching you how to do it. 
be aware, you're not gonna over texture it, right? You're just gonna do it to where it has pieces enough that you're like, it has separation. Like this is good here, but her hair is a little finer. Really, I didn't have to texture as much as I did, but I just want to teach you and show you how to do it. Otherwise, that would be thicker right there. You see how thick mine is? But I could use a little bit more texture like in here. You start to feel the weight of hair and be like, oh, I need like a piece or two right there. And it's just fun. Always use your imagination. Feel it, see it. Use your, your intuition and your senses to, to really learn incredible hair. That's it, guys. Coach Kimmy here. I'll see you guys next time. Keep watching my videos. Subscribe. And thank you. Thank you for commenting. And I just want to remind you, if you want to get the secrets of a great therapist, get better and better and better every day by the knowledge and wisdom that you learn from other people's mistakes. All right, guys. Coach Kim here. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video.